Phoenix Mercury star Brittany Griner opening up this morning during her first press conference since being released from a jail in Russia. Griner also unveiling a new mural next to the team's home arena in downtown Phoenix, bringing awareness to others who are wrongfully detained overseas right now. Team 12's Lena Washington was there for the emotional event. And Lena, first off, how do you think BG is doing? Well, Mark and Caribe, BJ, BG was actually smiling and cracking jokes, but she's still working through the trauma of being held in Russian custody for 10 months last year. She spoke to us for 30 minutes today, thanking the president and the media outlets that amplified her story. Ooh, a little different than basketball press conference. A lot of media in here today. Brittany Griner tried keeping things light when discussing the darkest time of her life, but the emotional moment hit her quickly. You know, I'm no stranger to, uh, to hard times, so. <laughs> See, you cried then you made me cry. <laughs> You're going to be faced with adversities um, throughout your life. Uh, this was a pretty big one. This time last year, Griner was being held in Russian custody, facing up to 10 years in prison after marijuana vape cartridges were found in her luggage at an airport near Moscow. Never going overseas to play again unless I'm representing my country uh, at the Olympics. You know, uh, if, I, if I make that team, that would be the only time I would, I would leave the U.S. soil. Griner was released and returned to the U.S. back in December, but her basketball comeback is still a work in progress. Because as an athlete, you always want to be where you left off and I left off playoffs, you know, finals, Chicago. Um, and I wanted to be that that player when I started back. It's going to take time. Now she and the Mercury are partnering with the Bring Our Families Home campaign, advocating for the safe return of wrongful detainees held overseas. To, to everyone that is wrongfully detained um, right now across the world, uh, stay strong, keep fighting, don't give up. Just keep pushing, because we're, we're not going to stop. We're not going to stop fighting. We're not going to stop bringing awareness to everyone that's, that's left behind right now. A powerful message there. And the Mercury Open training camp this week. The regular season home opener is coming up on Sunday, May 21st. Mm. A long road to get back to top physical form, but she's eager to get back on the court. Yeah, guys. did she give any specifics on what she's doing physically and mentally to, to get there? Yeah, she is seeking help. She has talked to therapists. She's been doing that for many years, but she is so excited to get back with Diana Tarazi, who also signed a multi-year deal. She actually is still bringing the humor to the press conference in light of all this, saying, it's why wouldn't you want to play with a walking fossil, right? <laughs> Talking about DT, who's turning 41 in June, but what? the two of them have already brought one championship together to the Valley, so hopefully another is in the works. All things considered, she looks good. She does. She looks good. She looks like she's in good spirits, and again, using this opportunity and her platform to bring awareness to all of those others who are not able to have their story as yeah. as front of mind, top of mind as hers. Yeah. But this, this new sense of purpose for her now. Yeah. Absolutely. And this is only the beginning. We're going to see a lot of work between the Mercury and bring our families home throughout the season. People can write letters to those detained overseas and uh, it all gets started here at Footprint Center on May 21st. All, all right. right, Lena, thanks.